What is going on internet? Welcome to Eric's Joystick. I am Eric of course and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, instead of video games I'm going to be talking about video stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my video setup. Over the years I've put together a little something that fits into my workflow and um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while so I'm going to show off Weird Flex. So in this video I'm going to show you guys all of the gear that I use to shoot video. So here is basically the set. It's in our bedroom. I, I film everything in front of our in front of our door. Um, I had this light box. You can change out the letters. I like this because you know it has the name of my sh of my uh, of my channel, and you know tells everyone to follow. I like having a little uh, action figures up here. That's Alana or Alana from Saga. It's a comic book series. It's really good. I love the setting. I love the uh, the characters, and of course we got Rose Quartz and Steven from Steven Universe. Village from Animal Crossing, Halucha, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, this thing we got from, uh, we went to a Hot Topic in Waikiki and this was in a blind box. And then of course Bastion from Overwatch. Then we got this uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker poster. I got this off of a Club Nintendo rewards program that like way back in the day. Um, it is a little torn because I've, I've walked into it a couple times, don't ask how. But I mean, it's a really nice poster and I like having I feel like if you're gonna have like a gaming channel, or if you're gonna have like a channel that covers a specific topic, you should have things that are themed around there. We got the poster for Happy Home Designer for Animal Crossing, and then we had this uh, this picture that Daisy drew of Beautiful Joe and Sylvia. Uh, Beautiful Joe is one of my favorite series, so you know, gotta have that. And Daisy did this for the set. It's a uh, three pixel hearts. It's stuff you might see in the videos, but mostly you'll see this part right here. So next up we have uh, lighting. Over the years I've learned that you should have at least three different kinds of lights. One light to light up your subject, I am the subject, and one light to fill shadows that your main light will make, and lights for accents. For my main light I have this newer uh, Lux CN 160. I'll have, the, I'll have it in the description, but um, it's, it gets plenty bright and keeps me well lit. You can see the you can see in the monitor over here that it keeps me lit pretty well. We have light coming from the window. The sun is your friend that fills up any shadows that this light may make. And then we have our accent lights, which is this uh, this uh, RGB LED and the light box. So here is my audio setup. I have two different mics. Audio is probably one of the first things you want to get if you want to improve your uh, your video setup. I have uh, two different mics. This is a Rode Video Micro, if I'm not mistaken, or Midi Video Mic Me. Um, it's a very good mic. It has a filter up top. It hooks up to any mirrorless or DSLR camera. And if you want to hook it up to your phone, you have to get a different cable for it. Um, connected to my other camera, I have a Boya Lavalier mic. I forget the model name. Again, this is going to be all in the description. Um, two is always better than one. So I, that's why I like having two different audio sources. It's handy in case one of the microphones go out. And editing with two different audio sources isn't as hard as I thought it'd be. So you can't really do all this video stuff if you don't have something holding it all together, right? Um, let's talk about the the rig, the camera rig itself. So let's start with the tripod. This is a Niwer SAB264. It's decent for what I paid for, but it does have some really major issues. Like this part can easily come off. But anyway, we'll talk about that some other time. So going up from the tripod, we had this magic arm over here, which holds up my tablet, which I use for both a monitor and as a quick reference for any talking points I may have when I'm recording. I like this thing because it lets me glance over without losing focus of the camera. And I can see just about everything, like my, how my video looks and like all of my video notes. And holding everything together is this L bracket over here. It has a lot of shoe mounts and a lot of, um, quarter inch threads so that way I can rig up anything else that I may need. It, it's made of it's made of metal. It's, it's been holding up pretty well. I like it a lot. You can't really make videos if you don't have a camera, right? So this is the Panasonic Lumix G7. This is my camera. This is my main camera that I use. It's a 16 megapixel micro four thirds camera. This is the lens that comes with it. I like that it has a flip out screen. I used to use this screen as a monitor before I got the magic arm. Um, it has Wi-Fi so you can connect your phone or tablet to it to uh, send 
anything anything you shoot on it. It's a really nice camera for, for 500 bucks. You can find it even cheaper too, probably with accessories. A lot of uh, content creators that I follow recommend this camera as a good beginner camera and God, they are so right because this thing is like really nice. This is my baby right here. So then I have a secondary camera, which I use for uh, B-roll, thumbnails, anything else that needs to be filmed and it's my phone. So my phone is a Google Pixel 2. I have it rigged up to this uh, this whole rig system here that has a smartphone adapt uh, that has a tripod adapter. This is a handheld rig, so you know I can hold it, film if I need to. Uh, it's a small light. It's a newer CN Lux 360. It's plenty bright, just like the one I use up here. I have my microphone hooked up to a USB-C dongle, and I have this uh, Moment lens kit on the back for better uh, for a better field of view and better uh, flexibility. I'm a big believer in using your smartphone as a camera because these things these things have gotten better and better over the years. If you want to do anything creative like drawing or music making or photography or making videos, this is a really good starting point. So anyway, that's everything I use to shoot video and make videos with. Um, if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to show off like my desk setup, you know, like things that I use to record gameplay, things that I use to stream, you know, my, my, my custom built PC, you know, those, those kind of things. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to me on YouTube where I do vlogs, unboxings, reviews, like software and hardware. Um, follow me on Twitch for live streams. If you want to keep up with me on Twitter, you can follow me at Eric's Joystick. And for more behind the scenes stuff, you can follow me on Instagram. You can find all of that plus email at me in a nutshell.com slash Eric underscore Villanueva. That's two L's in Villanueva. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Eric and I'm out of here. Peace out.